Hi, this is Morley, and this is the M-Wire. Well, the wait is over, folks. I've been waiting for it. You've been waiting for it. The entire world, as we know it, has been waiting for it. AOC has weighed in on the border crisis. And as expected, as the article says, she does not disappoint. After years of literally going on and on about how kids are being kept in cages, suspiciously she doesn't even really mention that part in her response to the border crisis. Nothing can really prepare you for what you're about to see in this video. I highly suggest that you just sit down, relax, brace yourself, and just marvel over what she says in this video about the border crisis. Enjoy. They want to say, what about the surge? Well, first of all, just gut check, stop. Anyone who's using the term surge around you consciously is trying to invoke a militaristic frame. And that's a problem because these, this is not a surge. These are children and they are not insurgents and we are not being invaded, which by the way, is a white supremacist idea, philosophy, the idea that if an other is coming in the population, that this is like an invasion of who we are. How is that for you? Was it worth the wait? It was to me. Well, first of all, just gut check stop. Anyone who's using the term surge around you consciously is trying to invoke a militaristic frame, and that's a problem. Why does the word surge invoke a militaristic frame? Oh, we're getting to that. Here we go. Because it's not, this is not a surge these children and they are not insurgents I see so using the word surge evokes insurgents well that's not even appropriate either the people at the border don't have guns or anything they're not trying to take over the country by force they are only surging because Joe Biden encouraged them to yes he did check it out he actually said that they should surge the border. What is suspiciously missing from all this is how during the Trump administration, she constantly complained about how kids are being kept in cages, but there's none of that now. It's all about insurgency. I can't even begin to imagine the inner workings of her mind as to how all of this, or any of this for that matter, makes sense but somehow some way in her mind if you refer to this as a surge you are in all likelihood a white supremacist people coming into the country illegally but if you have anything to say about it well that probably just makes you a racist in her mind that makes perfect sense that is perfectly logical in her mind. But wait, there's more. She also said it's not a border crisis. It's an imperialism crisis. It's a climate crisis. It's a trade crisis. Um, I don't know how she correlates these things to what's happening at the border. To, in my mind, that makes about as much sense as calling it a, I don't know, chocolate chip cookie crisis. These things are completely unrelated. But hey, just to do anything to be alarmist and make it something that it's not, I guess that's what she's trying to do here. She's trying to avoid the issue of thousands of people pouring over the border illegally. She's completely ignored the issue of kids being kept in cages, as uh, Ted Cruz showed in his video earlier this week, and Biden, even his official video shows that. 
But hey, imperialism, climate crisis, and trade crisis, that's where it's at. Well, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I It was definitely worth the wait. I knew when she finally piped up on this, it was going to be a doozy. And by no means did she disappoint. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. God bless.